Silicon is the dominant semiconductor material. Others such as germanium are unstable at higher temperatures, having excessive reverse current. Let us look at the atom of silicon in this Bohr diagram. It has four valence electrons in its outer shell. Germanium has more shells than silicon and the farther a shell is from the nucleus, the more energy it has. So, it will take a very small energy for the valence electron in germanium to be triggered and leave. That is why it is unstable. Let us look at how silicon atoms are arranged. This figure shows how each silicon atom positions itself with four adjacent silicon atoms to form a silicon crystal. A silicon atom with its four valence electrons shares an electron with each of its four neighbors. This effectively creates eight shared valence electrons for each atom and produces a state of chemical stability. Take a look at this bonding diagram. This sharing of valence electrons produces the covalent bonds that hold the atoms together. Each valence electron is attracted equally by the two adjacent atoms which share it. Here is a complete picture.